Hey trainers, have you heard the news? The next Pokemon Home update is right around the corner, and with it comes a lot of really exciting features. So today, I thought it would be fun to talk about what's coming with the next version. So cue the intro, and let's talk about it. Welcome back everyone. So it's been a little bit since we talked about Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus. But earlier this week, we got some really exciting info straight from the Pokemon Company. After months and months of waiting, they finally shared some details regarding Pokemon Home's next update, which will include compatibility with these games. At the time, we don't have an exact release date for this patch, but according to the Pokemon Company, it's coming very soon. In fact, it could even be out by the time you're watching this video. But for now, they've revealed the Pokemon transfer process between these games, as well as some bonus features. So kicking off our discussion, let's talk about transferring Pokemon. With this update, Pokemon has released an updated graphic that includes Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus. As you can see, you can move a Pokemon back and forth between home and these games. Plus, you'll be able to move some Pokemon between these games as well. For example, a Pikachu that you caught in Sword and Shield can be placed in Home, then added to your file in BDSP or Legends Arceus. However, it's important to note that this transfer may cause changes to a Pokemon's moves, level, and the ball it was captured in. What are the ball changes, you may ask? Well, expanding on the Pokeball changes, this particular feature will be present when moving a Pokemon to and from Legends Arceus. Since this game takes place before the creation of the modern Pokeballs, any Pokemon transferred to this game will be placed in a new type of Strange Ball. No, really, they're literally called Strange Balls. Additionally, Pokemon transferred to BDSP from Arceus will also be placed in Strange Balls. And if you transfer a Pokemon from Arceus to Sword and Shield, then those Pokemon will be placed in Standard Pokeballs. Pretty wild, right? Though it's pretty cool that they're tying this new ball with the Sinnoh region games. It also makes sense that the Pokemon in those old wooden balls would be replaced by the modernized versions in Sword and Shield. Though honestly, I wish there was a way to customize which ball you placed a Pokemon in. Like I'd love to put Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus in Premier Balls, but that's just me. But continuing our discussion, another change with Pokemon Home is the info you're able to view. Pokemon that are moved from BDSP will now show their condition along with other details. As for Legends Arceus, Trainers who transfer Pokemon from this game will be able to view their effort values or EVs. Plus the National Dex will be updated to include Hisui forms. Wrapping up the new features, you'll be able to obtain some special Pokemon when the update goes live. After depositing your first Pokemon from Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, you'll be able to receive a mystery gift containing the Sinnoh starters. This may not seem as exciting since we can get them in the post game, but like the Galar starters we got when Home was first released, these three Pokemon will have their hidden abilities. That means Turtwig will have Shell Armor, Chimchar will have Iron Fist, and Piplup will have Defiant. All of which will make them a ton more valuable. As for Legends Arceus, transferring a Pokemon from this game to home will provide a gift containing Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. But unlike the Gen 4 starters, these Pokemon won't come with hidden abilities. Instead, their EVs will be maxed out so they won't require any grit to power up. Now in order to obtain these Pokemon, you'll need to have the mobile version of Pokemon Home. After transferring a Pokemon using the Switch app, open the mystery gift in the mobile version and the Pokemon should be there. And once they're in your box, you can use the Switch app to move them to the game of your choosing, provided they're in that game of course. Also these gifts don't have a time limit, so there's no rush to get them. Though I wouldn't sleep on it for too long, because these Pokemon will be a lot of fun to use. So all in all, this is a very exciting update for Pokemon Home. I can't wait to move some of my Pokemon into Strange Balls. Also, I'm really glad they're giving us easy access to the three Hisui starters, as I still need Oshawa and Cyndaquil for my Pokedex. Plus, I may have accidentally evolved Rowlet and Dartrix before completing their research pages. Oops but at least I'll have another shot at it now. So trainers, are you ready for this Pokemon Home update? And which new feature are you most excited about? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. 
Earlier I mentioned that it's been a bit since we made a BDSP video, but we actually have a video in the works regarding fixes that could bring some new life into those games, so stay tuned for more details on that. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.